Hi guys, so today I'm gonna talk about mistake number two. Uh, no entry or exit strategy, okay? So um, let's talk about this stock VLT, WLT, uh, you may heard of it. Um, I this is probably one of my first stocks which I which I bought, you know, and from the very beginning I made three mistakes, okay? I went directly into individual stocks, I didn't have any entry or exit strategy, and I didn't use any stops, okay? So if I remember correctly, I started I bought it around here at the beginning of 2007, you know, it's, I remember it was like 25, $25. But the reason which I bought this is really interesting. Um, that day the, the the stock went down 50%. I say, wow, 50%. Now buy low and sell high. Okay, I need to buy this. Um, I was actually lucky, you know, because the reason the stock went down 50% that day was not because something bad happened. Just the company split in two. And of course, from 50, went down to 25. That was the reason, okay. So I bought it here. I remember for a few months, didn't do anything around 25, okay. Then went up to 29, down a little bit, 31, okay, I say, that's good. And I, I, I was keeping, okay, but look at this, a big drop, a big drop to 21, and now after, and here at 31, I had probably like 150 bucks uh, profit, and here I was actually down $150 plus, at uh, that time I uh, traded with Fidelity, and it was like $20, Per transaction, twenty dollars to buy a stock, twenty dollars to, to sell it. Okay, that will be another forty bucks, which is a big problem, you know. Um, okay, and I say if it's going back to to twenty five to thirty, I'm gonna I'm gonna sell it, and that's exactly what I did. I, I sell it somewhere at thirty. I was happy. I made some bucks. Okay, so I didn't have I didn't know anything about trading at that time, you know. Uh, I of course I I didn't look at the at the chart okay because I didn't know about the stuff okay let's see so what happened here well if you look at let's have a better look okay let's let's look a little bit back okay pretty much went up okay but from 2006 to 2008 almost it went nowhere it was it was on the lateral so if you look here if if I was right now. I will say, okay, if it goes above this level, if managed to, to clear this resistance, I really consider buying this. And um, again, look at this, EMA 25 was 50, okay. Uh, okay, so here I had the, the, uh, the crossover, but then went down, didn't touch it, and here actually looks pretty good. I say like 40, that would be actually a very good point to end, okay. So let's see what is going on. Okay, and the stock absolutely rallied. Okay, so now we are a few months later, it was already 90. You know, what you do in this case? Okay, so let's say you, you bought it at 40, okay, and now at 90. Almost more than 100% profit, okay? So there are many, many ways to, to do this. Uh, to, to protect your, your your investment, okay? You want to stay as long as you can, but you don't want to give up the profit, okay? So now, actually from, from the time you, you bought it in here, okay, you should put a, a, a loss stop, okay? So um, in this case, let's say 40, I don't know, 10%, 20% down, probably at least 20% down because this is pretty wild, you know. You don't want the, the stock to go a little bit, touch you, uh, you, you loss uh, value, and then move up again, okay? You need to be safe. But from here, if you look, actually, it was not going down too much. It was, it was not that that volatile, okay? It just went up, straight up. So, some people are using a so-called uh, parabolic SAR. I don't know if you've heard of this, okay? Um, so this pretty much gives you an idea where to place your your um, um, stops. Okay, so if you buy, if you if you're an uptrend like here, okay, you can see it. If you bought it here, here's supposed to be the like I say, 42. I, I just guess like 30, 30, 33. That will be your initial um, stop loss. Okay, and 
every time but the thing is you need to move this stop okay now move to 54 54 you, you need to have a stop at 42 doesn't you it's no point to keep it at 30 that will be dangerous you know because that if the go from 50 to 30 that will be already in a downtrend you know and you don't want to do this so the more it moves up the more you move these points okay like here that's one of the strategies okay there are many many other things to look at the some trend line whatever in this case actually it's no trend line it's like going up and usually the these stocks which go up very fast will also go down very fast look at here 108 to 90 now I, I, and here probably if if i had you see now uh, the 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 point the, the exit point was like 89 to 90 uh, probably take you out here you're out uh, 90 okay maybe you didn't take everything out just a little bit okay what happens if that start to go up go a little bit down that's a problematic you know this is on a weekly chart so these are big lows so made a lower low okay but uh, of course no crossing over for this one for, for this uh, <coughs> emas and the small one 20 it's it's actually pretty far away so you cannot really use this you need to use faster faster emas in this case because otherwise the, the the sell signal will be actually too late in this case okay so it is a good entry but not necessarily a good exit if you use this okay let go so what happened well went up again the parabolic side it says here if you look actually to short if you short this stock this will be the the stop loss okay because you need to be protecting the upside um, so let's say I was still in in this in here by 81 okay is making another lower low and now the 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 what is this Emma 25 okay it's crossed so 75 I would be probably more likely everything out okay um, and you look you can re-enter the stock that's not a problem you know you, you don't have to if you if you exit it it doesn't mean you, you you don't need to go again okay but here is more problematic now it's now it's uh, it's even below this small 120 which is anyway far away from the end we have now the, the crossover yeah? we're here at the end of 2008 the whole market was collapsing and you need to keep in mind this because doesn't matter how good your stock is if the whole market collapsing your stock will collapse too okay okay let's say if can you can you short this of course you can okay let's see if it's good here oops what I done what I am 2008 okay okay now we are in 2009 in here okay we were almost at the bottom parabolic are actually gives you very good um, entry here okay it says it's now going up and look to buy at 18 and to have uh, a stop like 13 20 uh, 13 yes I'm telling you that is good from my point of view I'm a, I'm a I'm on the safest uh, part okay I'm looking also at the DMI okay you see here I'll give a negative signal it's pretty late but okay and here is no positive signal either okay this this was too early for me I didn't trade it but I'm just telling you what I was supposed to do okay it's going up now we have this uh, uh, weekly DMI, DMI um, which is a momentum indicator now it's positive okay now it's positive uh, these two MS are looking or going up again I think it's time to consider buying some okay let's see in here probably that will be my entry like 16 here okay we have a they they cross uh, a positive crossover okay let's go let's go let's go let's go this is the first major drop okay well that would be a problem entry at 60 and 72 okay okay I'm I would may I probably I would bail out by the by here okay look look uh, again and let's see no crossover okay good support here parabolic side it's again on the positive side 
And look, 96, they clear the 96. Okay, 104 actually, and look at this, again. The, the, the weekly DMI is positive. So anyway, between 88 and 100, 106 would be another good entry, okay? Let's go. Let's see. It's going again very, very fast. Very, very fast. Okay, here is another problem, okay? It's crossing this, uh, the first small one, 150. 120, sorry, uh, no, small, uh, MR25, MR25 is cross here on weekly chart, well, that would be a problem, oh, that's even bigger, okay, it's going down really fast, okay, so, this is a no-no, okay, let's see what is going on, a little bit down, a little bit, okay, now here is the problem, okay, not even went below boss, Boss um, MRs now it's actually even below, even below small 120. I'll be out, definitely out, no matter what. Okay, and consider going short here. Okay, so it tries to go up, it cross a little bit, but it's going down again, very, really, really fast. And we have now a, a negative crossover between this this MRs. Okay, this is a good. It's a good. Um, short okay even if say you you want to be on the safe side okay look at this it tried to go nowhere for almost a year okay let's see so i will say okay i'll watch first for this support went a little bit down it doesn't matter enough so i probably say now i consider this here is a problem 51 that's really really bad so lost support like a year support went below this is a very bad sign very very bad size so 54 let's say will be another good short okay and it's going down and it's going down 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 okay the parabolic SAR, uh, SAR gives you up down you say go long here go short here go. it's not that good but you see the the small 120 is pointing down now we still have a, a negative crossover go down down and that's today 791 from 140 to 791. So depends. I say it was some uh, even. Uh, I'm talking from a safe point of view. Okay, it was safe to make some money on the upside. It was even better to make some money on the downside. You know, even if you end here 50, uh, you lost a lot of potential. How I say, but um, but this was the probably the, the safest. Point was at 50, 51, okay, and you, you still had a pretty good uh, ride, okay. So, um, as an entry, well, I'm always looking at the chart, no matter what. I'm looking at the fundamentals too, I want to buy a nice stock, okay, but look at the chart, look at the resistance levels, look at the um, support levels and so on okay so if goes about certain resistance i'm gonna buy it. go below certain support i'm out okay uh in this case so this 20 oh, mr25 mr50 th these are these are good for for the the whole index the whole market uh, s p 500 uh, nasdaq whatever uh, down dow jones okay this this work very well for these guys you need to adapt you need you need to uh, um, find your your um, MS which which work in this case I should go like half of it let's say instead of 25 to 50 I can go for 12 24 okay that that will be much better because this is very fast and will give me better entries and better exits this is on a pretty long uh, uh, time frame okay it's, it's it's on weekly chart you can do these entries on on uh, on daily chart and you can write all of this single you know like here is from 81 to 63 on, on a daily chart you, you, you can you can make money on the downside here at the end you can make money on the upside here okay you can um, if you're a very fast uh, trader you know but from now I say if you're a beginner you better stick with which is safe for you and it's safe to go with uh, index ETFs or or you, uh, you can go with um, mutual funds okay whatever you choose doesn't matter uh, stay away from individual stocks for now okay so um, 
that's me. That that's the way I I'm I'm going in on going out. Okay. Um, a lot of people have many other strategies. I'm not advising you to use my strategy. Just uh, keep in mind and uh, compare with whatever you learn from other sites or from other books or from other people. Okay. Okay.